स्पेशल टेस्ट फॉर नी जॉइंट लिगामेंटस एंड मेनिस्कस इंजरी हियर वी आर परफॉर्मिंग स्पेशल टेस्ट फॉर नी जॉइंट लिगामेंटस एंड मेनिस्कस इंजरी टेस्ट फॉर मेनिस्कस इंजरी मेक मरी टेस्ट परपोज टू असेस मेनिस्कस इंजरी लेट्स सी द प्रोसीजर पेशन पोजिशन सुपाइन लाइंग विथ नी कम्प्लीटली फ्लेक्स द हील टू बटक थेरापीज पोजिशन बीसाइड द टेस्ट एट साइड द एग्जामिनर रोटेट द टीबिया मीडियली एंड एक्सटेंड द नी टू चेक लेटरल मेनिस्कस इंजरी द प्रोसेस इज रिपीटेड टू सेवरल टाइम द एग्जामिनर देन परफॉर्म द सेम प्रोसिजर विथ द नी लेटरली रोटेटेड टू चेक मीडियल मेनिस्कस इंजरी The process is repeated to several time. Interpretation: The test is positive if there is loose fragment of lateral or medial meniscus. This action causes snap or click that is obtain accompanied by pain. Second, Apple's test. Purpose: To assess meniscus and ligamentous injury. Let's see the procedure. Patient position prone lying with knee 90 degree flex. Therapist position beside the tested side. The patient's thigh is anchored to the examining table with the examiner's knee. For meniscus injury, examiner rotate the tibia laterally with compression to check medial meniscus injury. and the examiner rotate the tibia medially with compression to check lateral meniscus injury interpretation if there is pain or so decreased rotation then test is positive now see the procedure for ligamentous injury or ligamentous injury examiner rotate the tibia medially with distraction to check lateral cruciate ligament injury and the examiner rotate the tibia laterally with distraction to check medial cruciate ligament injury interpretation if there is pain or so increase rotation then test is positive test for ligamentous injury for acl injury first lechman test purpose to assess the anterior cruciate ligament injury especially the posterior lateral bend let's see the procedure patient position supine lying therapist position standing beside the tested side the examiner hold the patient knee between full extension and 30 degree knee flexion the patient's femur is stabilized with one of the examiner's hand while the proximal aspect of the tibia is moved forward with the other hand The hand on the tibia should apply the translation force. Interpretation: When the tibia is moved forward on the femur and disappearance of the infrapatellar slope. There are some modification to perform this test. Modification 1: Patient position sitting with the leg over the edge of the examining table. Therapist position sitting facing the patient and support the foot of the tested leg on the examiner's thigh so that the patient's knee is flex 30 degree the examiner stabilizes the thigh with one hand and pulls the tibia forward with the other hand abnormal forward motion is considered to be a positive test modification to stable lechman test for examiners with small hands patient position supine lying with the knee resting on the examiner's knee one of the examiner's hand stabilizes the femur against the examiner's thigh and the other hand applies an anterior stress modification 3 drop leg latchman test 
Position position supine lying and the leg to be tested is abducted off the side of the examining table and the knee is flexed to 25 degree one of the examiner's hand stabilizes the femur against the table while the patient's foot is held between the examiner's knee the examiner's other hand is then free to apply the anterior translation force They found there was greater anterior laxity demonstrated when doing the test this way than when doing it the classical way. Modification four. Patient position supine lying while the examiner stabilizes the foot between the examiner's thorax and arm. Both hands are placed around the tibia and the knee is flexed twenty to thirty degree and. anterior drawer movement is performed this technique allows gravity to control movement of the femur which may not be sufficient to show a good positive test modification 5 patient position supine lying therapist position stand beside the leg to be tested with the eyes level with the knee the examiner grasps the femur with one hand and the tibia with the other hand the tibia is pulled forward and any abnormal motion is noted as with the regular lechman test the examiner may have difficulty stabilizing the femur if the examiner's hands are small second anterior drawer test purpose to assess one plane anterior instability let's see the procedure in position supine lying with knee flex 90 degree and hip flex 45 degree in this position the anterior cruciate ligament is almost parallel with tibial plateau therapist position sitting on the patient's forefoot and the foot is in neutral rotation the examiner's hands are placed around the tibia to ensure that the hamstring muscle are relaxed the tibia is then drawn forward on the femur interpretation the positive test is the tibia moves forward more than 6 mm on the femur when performing this test the examiner must ensure that the pcl is not torn in addition hemarthrosis a torn medial meniscus or hamstring spasm may result in a false negative test for pcl injury reverse lechman test purpose to assess pcl injury let's see the procedure patient position prone lying knee flex to 30 degree the examiner grasps the tibia with one hand while fixing the femur with the other hand the examiner ensures that the hamstring muscle are relaxed the examiner then pulls the tibia up posteriorly noting the amount of movement and quality of the end feel interpretation test is positive if posterior tibial translation occurs the examiner should be wary of a false positive test if the anterior cruciate ligament has been torn because gravity may cause an anterior shift second posterior sac sign gravity drawer test purpose to assess posterior instability patient position supine lying with hip flex 45 degree and knee flex 90 degree in this position tibia drop back or sag back on femur because of gravity if pcl is torn see the picture interpretation normally the medial tibial plateau extend 1 cm anteriorly beyond the femoral condyle when the knee is flex 90 degree 
if this step is lost which is what occur with a positive posture say caused by a torn pcl this step of test or thumb sign is considered positive the examiner must be careful because the position could result in a false positive anterior drawer test for the acl if the sag remains unnoticed if there is minimal or no swelling the sag is evident because of obvious concavity distal to the patella posterior drawer test purpose to assess one plane posterior instability let's see the procedure patient position supine line with knee flex 90 degree and hip flex 45 degree therapist position sitting on the patient's forefoot and the foot is in neutral rotation the examiner's hands are placed around the tibia to ensure that the hamstring muscles are relaxed the tibia is then drawn backward on the femur interpretation the positive test is the tibia is pushed back on the femur for mcl injury valgus stress test abduction test purpose to assess one plane medial instability let's see the procedure patient position supine lying with knee full extension therapist position standing with one hand over the lateral knee joint line and other hand stabilize the ankle in slight lateral rotation the examiner applies a valgus stress at the knee push the knee medially consequently perform this test with knee 20 to 30 degree flexion interpretation the positive test is the tibia moves away from the femur on the medial side for lcl injury varus stress test adduction test purpose to assess one plane lateral instability let's see the procedure patient position supine lying with the knee full extension therapist position standing with one hand over the medial knee joint line and other hand stabilize the ankle in slight medial rotation the examiner applies a varus stress at the knee push the knee laterally consequently perform this test with knee 20 to 30 degree flexion interpretation the positive test is the tibia moves away from the femur and excessive amount on the lateral aspect of the leg 